Hello everyone, this is Darwell20 and welcome to episode 17 of Darwell20's Omnifactory series where I'm cooking up some Galena dust and I'm electrolyzing it. Takes a little bit. Uh, and I also have sulfur, no, phosphor on me. Um, I'm still trying to knock out quests and figure out like how to unlock uh, the quests that will eventually... Silver, lead, and sulfur. That's not bad actually. That's a decent amount of stuff. Um, to, to unlock a few things. So that should be a quest complete. Hooray! Uh, this was in like the getting started chapter. It was phosphor and sulfur. Um, you know, I'm just trying to unlock a few of the quests that I might have skipped the first time around. Um, so, uh, phosphoric acid. Ooh, that's cool. Does that maybe lead me to where I need to go? That might be, that might be a thing. Phosphate can be electrolyzed again into phosphorus and oxygen gas. Recombine them in the correct ratio, ratios inside a chemical reactor to get phosphorus pentoxide. Cool. There's, there's a lot of things that I need to make. Um, so it's phosphorus dust plus oxygen, 10 buckets worth, right? And phosphorus dust. I am super confused. All right, hold on. All right, phosphate can be electrolyzed again into phosphorus and oxygen. Right, so I've got phosphorus. Where did this come from? Electrolyzing phosphate dust. Yes, yes. Okay, cool. So what we need to do, I found this um, phosphorus ore uh, in a vein with appetite. So basically I, I took appetite. Does it have a recipe? It does too. So if we need to like make some more, it's cool, right? But it has a recipe um, and we can uh, find it with... Um, Appetite. I found a vein not too far away. It was like over in that direction. Uh, the scanner. The trick is, if you're really looking for a resource, buy it with the coins. Stick it over here. As you can see, I did that with Appetite. Uh, there it is. And then scan for it in the world. And then you can find it whenever you want, right? So I have that little dictionary going on over there, which is cool. Okay. So you've got phosphate going on. No, phosphor dust. Right, and I think that electrolyzes into phosphate, okay? And then phosphate turns into phosphorus. So we have to electrolyze it twice. Something, something, I'm confused. I don't know, I get lost already. Yeah. Now, are you making oxygen? You are making oxygen. Cool. Good to know. Uh, cause we're gonna need a tank of that. Um, definitely need a tank of oxygen. That's cool though. So it's the second cycle, right? Phosphate we electrolyze into phosphorus, and then phosphorus can be chemical reacted into phosphorus pentoxide. At a decently high ratio, by the way. So that ain't terrible. Um, not 100% sure what this is going to lead to, but I'm thinking the phosphoric acid might lead to my plastics, right? So my, my goal here, and what I'm working towards, is patterns, right? My goal is patterns. So to get that, we need to unlock polythylene sheets, which I'm hoping I'm kind of in the way of, of, of making, right? So polythylene uh, comes from a chemical reactor between ethylene and air. Ethylene, there's a handful of ways to make it, and I'm not sure what the right way is. Um, and by right way, I mean, you know, based on what this mod pack wants me to do. Steam cracked propane, steam cracked light fuel, butane, wood gas, steam cracked. Okay, cool. All these things, right? I honestly don't know. <laughs> Distillation tower, I assume, is the same recipes as the distillery, right? It seems to be. So distillery and distillation tower are the same. Chemical reactor might be a thing. Ethanol and sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid, I don't know. Sulfur trioxide. I'm, I'm assuming sulfuric acid has something to do with the sulfur that I'm making, but we'll see, All right? Sulfur dust and water make sulfuric acid. So that's a thing. We're getting sulfur dust, right? Didn't, wasn't that one of the things we just got some of? Yeah, it is. Woo! 
Um, cool, so your phosphor dust is done. We can throw the phosphate in there now. And I think this is the one that actually makes oxygen along with stuff, right? Yeah, it is, nice. So I'm gonna get like, you know, 10 or so buckets of that. Maybe 20, that sounds like a good number. If I can get 20, that would be good. Though I don't think this thing can hold 20, Kenny. He holds 16 to be full. That's all right. What I'll do is get the last four over here. Did I get it fast enough? Oh, I got the eight. That's fine. Not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. So then what we want to do is take the phosphorus dust, chemical mixer, with oxygen, four of them with oxygen yields phosphate pentoxide in a chemical mixer. And let's just check chemical reactor. 30 EU tick, so LB's fine. Chemical reactor. So what I'm going to do is put liquid in there. This is the one, right? Sweet. And then, does that mean I can get that back? Oh, that's cool. Phosphorus dust. Oh, yeah. No, wait. Phosphorus pentoxide dust. Yeah, we got that stuff. Hooray! Quest complete. Ding, ding. Sweet. Okay. Well, and that leads to luminescence. Okay, cool. Phosphoric acid. I'm thinking this is going to be a thing. Chemical reactor, so phosphorus pentoxide, and six buckets of water. Shouldn't be too bad. I wonder if the sink is in this pack. It's not. That's a bummer. I think the reservoir from the ender war, yeah, that, thing, that thing's in here, right? And all this is a little bit of hardened glass or fused quartz or something like that. But we'll see. For now, let's just get our bucket and get... I'm just trying to figure out exactly what we need to do here, right? Because there's definitely a lot of quests. I'm not entirely sure which one leads to the ones that I want. It was six, right? Pretty sure that's right. Chemical reactor plus water. Six. Sweet. In worst case, we just figure it out, right? Nice. Quest complete. That wasn't so bad. Is used for a number of things, but right now it can be a component in your extended crafting tables. Oh, okay. Luminescence. That might not be where I'm going, but we'll see. I might want to get into the soldering alloy. I've seen that for a few things. Silicon bulls might be a thing that we need to make. Let me look at the recipe again for patterns, because I'm still not 100% sure. There's so many ways to get polythylene, and that's what I'm a little bit confused about. Like, exactly um, how I'm supposed to go about polythylene, right? So, air and ethylene, ethylene and oxygen, titanium tetrachloride, ethylene, and air. Okay, so I'm going to say, like, ethylene and air, right? So we need ethylene, right? So let's see, ethylene, let's just add them to the list here. So here's the part where I'm not 100% sure, like, what I'm supposed to be doing. Wood gas? What's wood, what's wood gas look like? Charcoal byproducts. Steam and wood makes wood gas in the pyrolase oven. So that's a thing. Okay. That might be one way to get it, wood gas, because we have wood, right? So we can distill wood gas into ethylene, okay? And then that'll make polythylene when mixed either with air. That's not terrible. Okay, that's not terrible. I feel like that's probably the route to go, right? That's probably the easiest route, I'm sure. Uh, yeah, so in order to get polythylene, right, we need air and ethylene. Ethylene, we need a distillery. So this uses 64 EU a tick, so we'll probably need an advanced distillery, right? Um, which doesn't look terrible. And that takes four seconds, so that's quick, right? And that'll get us the ethylene we need. 
from wood gas. Okay. And wood gas just straight up comes from pyroclase oven with wood and steam, which, you know, we're, we're doing the steam thing, right? Like we have that fully automated, so we're cool. All right, I'm, I'm down with that. I think that's doable. Now, if I search, I'm just curious, if I search for phosphoric acid, are you gonna find the tank there? You are, cool. All right, so I think that's what I'm gonna do. Let me get also back that lead and silver dust. Because you should probably smelt up what you got going on. All right, cool. So I think that's how we're going to do patterns. So can I make the second tier circuit much easier to mass produce than primitive circuits and fulfill the same function in nearly all cases? You should be batch crafting these. All right. Um, electronic circuits. So they're made in the assembler... with four resistors, four copper wire, capacitor, and phenosolid. Yeah, we've made most of these things. That does seem easier to make than the, cool, the second tier one circuit. And that, I'm curious if the next level is easier to make two. Where's the next level of that thing? Oh, cool, you can also make those. I th it, this is the thing that's basically or dictionary with the primitive circuit, right? Um, so what we want then is the tier two circuit, right? So like the second tier two circuit, this guy. Those are those electronic circuits, right? So we need three of those to get an electronic processor rather than four of the primitives. So that's cool, actually. And we need a transistor, which we just made, right? Yeah, those weren't terrible to make. And we need polythylene, which we're about to learn how to make, right? Okay, cool. I think, I think we're on our way to making cheaper circuits and potentially patterns, which would be cool. And, and the last piece we need for a pattern, right, for a blank pattern is the polythylene sheet, the fine silver wire, those are easy. It's this guy, uh, the second, or the first tier three circuit. I'm assuming we're going to want the first tier three circuit here. And that needs that needs electronic processors. I don't see that or dictionarying. So electronic processors is the is the second tier two that we just talked about, right? And that'll get us that. So we are actually getting really close to making patterns. And I think we have everything else we would need to make a pattern. We made integrated circuits, right? Oh, that's the one that we need those monocrystalline. Okay, cool. Nice. So lots of steps, but soon we will have patterns, and that means automation. So FYI, between episodes, I did make an advanced wire mill, and it's definitely faster than the previous years, which is cool. All right, so you go in here to make a bunch of those foily thingies, because I wanted to get a bunch of capacitors so we can make a bunch of these circuits, and that'll just make, that'll make crafting things a little bit easier. All right, yeah, we get a lot of this stuff, actually. And then just some more rubber sheets, which I think... Shouldn't be a problem. And check out fast. Uh, this thing makes rubber sheets. It's great. Boom. Boom. Right? How great is that? Oh, low on power. I'm choking out our power a little bit. That's okay. He'll come back to me. That's, I think, why I was supposed to make 16x dudes. Um, I think. Pretty sure that's why. But oh well. Alright, so those capacitors, which I accidentally put in here, come back out. Sweet. Alright, and then the last thing we need is the phenol thingies. Right, now I remember them not being bad, right? It's just phenol coated circuit boards. So if I got, let's do like that, it would be three buckets worth. And it was in the chemical reactor, right? Is that right? Yeah, so I need three buckets worth of that stuff. Man, I really hope that we have a, a fluid-based... Um, let's see. Oh, good. 64K fluid cells. That's here. <laughs> That's here. Good. Good that that mod's here. All right, cool. So now I think we put all this together, right? So you and then the copper wire. I think this makes things a lot faster. 
Uh, what? 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 Oh, you need molten tin in there? That's not terrible. Uh, I think I can do that. It's it's a it's a single ingot per right. So let's throw like. Fluid extractor should be able to get tin in there, right? Molten tin. And then you're producing? Nice, that's cool. That was not hard at all. That was quite easy, thank you very much. So bulk crafting these electronic circuits is, is a good idea. Not bad. We are going to want a little bit more tin going on. But yeah, we've got electronic circuits, dudes. Nice. Ding. Beautiful. So we have a path to where we need to go, right? So transistors. That's another thing we need. So some aluminum foil, and we should be cool. And you can make it with polythylene, but we're not there yet. So let's get, let's just get two of these for now. Um, we'll throw them in here to be a little bit quicker. Do, do, do. Transistor, you're cool. I'll get a few because, you know, we've learned from Craig Tech now. You need to make a bunch of things. Make all the things. Circuit progression is recommended that you bookmark this link. It will likely help you to continue to progress through circuits. Got it. Uh, I think I have that link. But it's basically, if, if you want to check that link out, right, I'll leave it on the screen for a sec so you can check it out. It's basically a, a screenshot of all the different circuits and how they work. Um, so, and, and like the progression of them. Uh, it's it's very useful knowledge. Let's just put it that way. All right, cool. So how are we doing? We need more resistors. We need more resistors. Can the assembler make you? Yeah, with just a coal dust and four fine wire, and that makes twelve. Actually, that's really nice. I wonder if the thing so coal dust and four fine wire, right? So coal dust and fine. If I if I could I is this gonna work? Is it because there's 10 in there? Oh no, you can't do the thing? That's a shame. Oh wait, maybe it's because this isn't here. Derp. It does work. It does work. That's awesome. That's actually a lot of resistors uh, very easily. Which I highly, highly appreciate. Thank you, game, for cheap resistor recipe. I gotta look more at those assembly machine recipes now that I have one. That's a dire fail that I haven't been paying attention to those quite as much as I should. And I know the quest book. I know, I know, I know, I know. Sweet. Okay. So with you cooking now, I think that's about it. Perfect. Perfect amount of tin uh, was in there. I like it. And then we'll save these remaining components for later. Very cool. Very cool. So we got 16 electronic circuits. So that's off the list, right? Nice. All right. Now we need the silicon bowls. So let's work towards those next. Uh, so monocrystalline silicon bowl is a blast furnace recipe. 32 silicon block dust and a gallium tiny dust. Right? So we have... That and silicon dust. Now, is there a better way to make this yet? So we can centrifuge whatever that stuff is. I mean, I know you can get it from clay, right? Um, I'm just looking for like a better, better option, right? Now that we've got, you know, far more machines and resources available to us than we did before, I'm just looking to see if there's like a better, there's got to be a better way to get silicon. It seems like we need a decent amount of silicon and making it is kind of a hassle. I mean, you get it from 10 redstone, but that seems like a huge waste, right? Topaz, I remember there being like a stone dust recipe, silicon dioxide, right? And that is 
centrifuged from stone dust. Right, so that's one way to do it. And stone dust, we can pulverize pretty much a whole bunch of stuff. Furnaces pulverize into like eight stone dust, for example. That's not a bad idea. Let's come back in a minute. All right, guys, a little bit of effort. Not too bad, not too bad. Stone dust is definitely a decent way. You just need a lot of it. Uh, it, 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 it costs a lot to switch that up, right? Uh, it's not terrible. It's not terrible, but it's a lot of stone to one silicon, which isn't the end of the world. So these two together should take a long time. <laughs> uh, how long does this take? Um, 300 seconds to make a silicon bowl. All right, well, that's a thing. We'll be back in 300 seconds, I guess. Um, also, um, the, the silicon dioxide to, to silicon dust is what's making oxygen in here. Finally figured that out. Uh, so I just, for a moment, took out my filter on what's allowed to go into the trash can. I don't need the oxygen right now, and oxygen is easy to get. It's just water, remember? So uh, if, if, if we need it in the future, I'll make it with water. So uh, back in a minute. So you know what? While that five minutes is running, right, because it's going to take a little bit, let's cook up uh, this stuff. Is that cool? That doesn't look so bad. Um, and then and then what we need is an advanced distillery, right? Because the ethylene is distilled from wood gas with a program circuit of number one. So we need that advanced distillery because, remember, it uses 64 EU per tick. So advanced distillery is one of the things we're going to want to look at making next. Um, so for you, like, how close am I to making this? Not bad. I could use a little bit more glass because clearly I don't have enough of that. And I should go mine up a beach again. Don't tell Bob Mark. It's a secret. Right? Um, cool. And then uh, what we could make is these guys, because I think we've still got some of those laying around. We're just going to need some more of this. And that's groovy. Cool. So yeah, definitely the key is having a lot of extra stuff. I don't think I've made one of these yet. So I need a rubber ring, which is just a rubber sheet with a knife. Do I not have a knife? I thought I had one of those. I could have sworn I had one of them. So a couple rubber rings and then a bronze. We need a bunch of bronze stuff. Oh good, I have a bunch of bronze. Yay me. Uh, so let's add this to our list of to-dos, right? So I need a bronze screw, which is bronze bolts, which is a bronze rod. So let's get like two of those should be more than enough. And then we're also going to need, actually, I think we have some plates, so we should be cool. Let's see. I'm trying to be a little conservative here. Okay. So this is the saw, right? And then we run them through here again, and then we get our screws. Cool. Uh, so that's those two, that. We need a medium steel pipe, which is six steel plates, which we have. Sweet. Uh, that is file and hammer. File and hammer. Cool. And then we need an electric motor as well, which shouldn't be too bad, I don't think. We just need uh, an aluminum. Two aluminum and four copper wires. We still have some copper wires that we haven't used here. We do. Doing pretty good on aluminum, as you can tell. Yeah, that's what's up. Cool. And then we just need this guy. So we need a bronze ring, which is a bronze rod with the hammer. Okay, cool. So let's get another bronze rod. We'll get our hammer ready here. Not the worst patterns in the world. Man, I can't wait to have auto crafting. Let me tell you. All right, so for this, we need hammer file plate. So we do hammer file. Do what now? Screwdriver. How, why did I say plate? <laughs> Dire, please. Cool. And then this guy should be ready, provided we have a screwdriver and a wrench. Is 
that right? Screwdriver and a wrench. Cool. And that, boom, is done. Means we get our advanced distillery done. Um, you're gonna chill here, buddy. Did I have more? Energetic alloy cables. Yeah, that's what I want. These are my MV cables. So you go there, advanced distillery. We're gonna want the circuit with programming one in it, right? So let's just take an advanced circuit. Boom. Configuration one. Now you, sir, probably are trying to pipe out a fluid that you can't fit, right? Mm -hmm. Wood vinegar? I guess we'll see. So theoretically, you made charcoal. You did a good job of it. Let's get ourselves a tank that has nothing in it at the moment. That's right, iron bars are not easy to make. Three iron rods and a configuration three. Six iron rods and a wrench. Good enough for me. I didn't feel like changing the configuration and all that nonsense. So if I popped you here, you should be getting this wood vinegar, whatever that is. So I thought you were supposed to be wood gas. Isn't that what we said? Yeah, oak wood was an option with steam. Makes wood gas. Wood gas. So what's wood vinegar? And can I distill that into... I cannot. Uh, that's cool. Wood gas. Maybe it's a configuration? Is there a configuration in this guy? Configuration 2. That might be why. Hold on. Aha. That might be why. That might be why. Nobody panic, because we just used wood. That's not a big deal. Nope, not you. You. I think that's probably why. So wood vinegar, I am going to say. That's an item, right? So you void that wood vinegar, please. Cool. And then you can go here and you're gonna get the wood gas that's gonna be done here in a sec. Excuse me, sir. Please stop being in my house. That's what I get for not planning ahead on my base. Bad direwolf. Alright, so now we should have wood gas. Yes! There you go. Interesting. Okay, cool. Things to remember. That. Meanwhile, we've got a silicon bowl. Yeah, we do. We've got that mono crystal and whatchamacallit thingy. Warning machine needs more energy. Why do you need more energy? You shouldn't need more energy. You should be, uh... Oh, because my pyroclase is running on the same line, isn't it? Yeah, that would do it. That would do it. It's probably a little bit low, but not terrible. Because this only uses some. This is getting enough to keep it going, just not at the right speed. But that's okay, we'll be fine. He'll be done in a minute. He's only got one more iteration after this. So let's come back when everything's complete. Alright, so we've got the pyroclase oven. Six buckets of wood gas. Now you needed configuration one. Let's make sure now that we remember that configurations actually matter. So that turns into... Um, a bucket turns into 20 millibuckets. Wow, that's a tiny amount of ethylene. Holy cow. That is a tiny amount of ethylene. Um, and polythylene is a chemical reactor of ethylene and air or ethylene and oxygen. Now, I know we've got ethylene and oxygen, right, um, in a chemical reactor. So that's 120. So that's not enough because we need 144, right? So what we're going to want is another stack of wood. Um, to get this going. Cool. 
Charcoal for days, that's for sure. Might as well load that guy up, right? All right. So, once this is done cooking up its stuff, we should be cool. So, back in a few. All right, guys. So, I uh, got another six buckets of wood gas in here. Luckily, the distillery is pretty quick to cook up everything that we need to get. Uh, so now we get this stuff, ethylene. Booyah. And that apparently combines with water to get polythylene, right? No, oxygen. Oxygen, right? Polythylene, oxygen. In a chemical reactor. And I'm pretty sure I've got oxygen in a tank already. So, chemical reactor. Oxygen, boom. Plus ethylene, boom. Uh, and we need a circuit. Of zero. Hey, hey, what's up? That's cool. Sweet. So we've got our polythylene. We can take our ethylene back and we can take our oxygen back. That's pretty cool, by the way. I really like being able to interact with a tank that way. That is awesome, right? So now we've got polythylene, which ain't terrible. Cool chemical reactor uh, nice and that is what we use to make polythylene ingots which we need for patterns right polythylene sheets so 144 polythylene will make a single sheet it can also be made in a compactor or the cutting saw so I think the fluid solidifier is probably the best route to go for, for a plate mold Right, because the compactor can make it, but we don't have uh, those machines just yet. We might be able to make them now, but I don't know. And uh, the other thing is the cutting saw, but that's if you already have a block of polythylene, which we don't. So that was a lot of wood, is the only thing I'll say. It took me two stacks of wood to make one polythylene sheet. That's a lot of wood. So here's the thing about this Greg Tech pack. There's like a hundred different ways to get certain things and some of them are more attainable or easy for me to do at this stage than others. So I don't know if wood is the way I'm supposed to be going for polythylene. It works, but I don't know if it's the right path, right? Quote unquote, correct way to do it at this stage. It's very large amounts of wood to very small amounts of polythylene. I don't know if that's gonna be something that's gonna work for me going forward. Um, I think I'm gonna continue and do some quests between episodes just to knock out um, like what we need to, to get going. And hopefully, once we do a few more quests, right? Because we need a crafting unit. That doesn't look terrible to make. So I need some calculation processors and logic processors. I can do that, right? You just need a Certus Quartz plate, which I know I've made, right? It's a uh, Certus Quartz dust, which I can just pulverize Certus Quartz for, right? Yeah. We even have a few. So yeah, let's get like, I'll get a few more of these. So let's do this. I'm gonna wrap up the episode. We'll come back next time. Hopefully having completed a few more quests, which will lead to, wow, that's slow. Do it faster, faster. Thank you. Hopefully um, in completing the quests, it'll lead to a revelation as to a better way to make polythylene. But maybe this is the way we're supposed to be doing it at this point. We'll figure it out. For now, Devil 20 signing off. Hope you enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time and uh, see what's next on our docket. All right, guys. Take it easy.